Hey, welcome to another edition of Kyle Meredith with. It's the interview series presented by WFPK at WFPK.org. Consequence and the Consequence Podcast Network. Thanks as always for making your way here for checking out the series. Please do hit that subscribe button. That way you're going to get three new interviews sent to you every single week. A new one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Great way to keep up with your favorite artists and discover those new ones. You can grab us any of the spots. Spotify, Apple Podcast, NPR, WFPK.org. Consequence, or of course, right here on YouTube where for the video versions. Anywhere you get your podcast from, you can subscribe to Kyle Meredith with. And that's me, Kyle Meredith. Today, we're going to be talking about the Apple TV Plus series, Manhunts. So this is, and I'll read it here, it's based on the New York Times bestselling and uh, Edgar Award winning nonfiction book from author James L. Swanson, Manhunt is a conspiracy thriller about one of the best known but least understood crimes in history, the astonishing story of the hunt for John Wilkes Booth in the aftermath of President Abraham Lincoln's assassination. You got Tobias Menzies in here. You got Lily Taylor in here. Patton Oswald, Matt Walsh are a part of it. And Hamish Linkletter. Uh, Hamish Linkletter is my guest today. I'll be talking. He actually portrays Abraham Lincoln himself. I've been such a fan of Hamish's work through the years, going all the way back to uh, one of his first movies, Groove and Midnight Mass uh, from just a few years ago. He was excellent in that. We're going to be talking about what it's like to portray one of the most Uh, impersonated figures in all of history with Abraham Lincoln. Uh, I want to hear about getting the voice. I want to hear about uh, how they wanted to portray this whole story and why it still matters today, Uh, how it reflects what we're uh, possibly still seeing out there as well. So let's do it. We're talking manhunts on Apple TV+. Plus. It's Kyle Meredith with Hamish Linkladder. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, It's a pleasure to meet you. Love seeing what you do anytime you pop up. And uh, that's no exception with Manhunt here. Uh, there's, um, I, I, I do want to get into the heavy stuff, but I thought we'd start with the bit of the fun parts. You get to play Abraham Lincoln, one of the most impersonated men in history, I believe. How did you want to do this? Uh, d- right from jump, uh, the, the conversations with Monica Beletsky, who created the show, and Carl Franklin, who directed the first two episodes, uh, they really just wanted to focus in on Lincoln, the the husband, the father, the friend. Uh, that was a great relief and sort of really uh, exciting challenge um, because we have his words. We have a real nice idea of how he was as a statesman, but how he was on the domestic front. Um uh, maybe there was more creative latitude, but it was essential for the show to show uh, what motivated his friend Edwin Stanton to uh, chase down his killer with such ferocity and then to uh, defend the legacy uh, uh, with such uh, in- impunable integrity. Yeah, it's. I find it fun because, again... I think a lot of us have this image that has been presented out there over time. And when I see you playing it, like, especially in the beginning of, of the show, right before, right before you get shot, um, like there's a playfulness. I think, you know, your, your feet's on the desk, you know, you're kind of, and, and I think that's the image that I wasn't expecting like that. I, I really enjoy seeing that part of it. Yeah. He put his boots up on the desk a lot. He wanted to put people at their ease. Everyone, it was an incredibly tense time. And uh, he wanted to get the best out of everyone around him. He wanted to create uh, a a relaxed environment where people could really let their, not only uh, strategic thoughts come out, but also their deep felt beliefs because he was hungry for uh, for what made people go and what was going to save the country. Yeah. Did you stress out at all about finding the voice? Was that how important was that? Uh, yeah, for sure. Stress out about everything. Um, but I had a wonderful voice coach, Louis Coliani, uh, who I'd known for a very long time. And he was like, it's Kentucky. It's the Kentucky uh, uh, where he was born. It's just that twang would come out, he would use it, uh, that folksiness. Um, 
uh, as many of our politicians do today, uh, lean into those roots. Yeah, which I should say I'm here in Louisville. Um, oh, that was not... my first job. My first, I got my equity card at Actors Theater of Louisville. I go there a lot. Yeah. Good place. Yeah, That's they, great. They don't have my picture up on the wall anymore. I'm sure they do. It's, uh... no, they did. it's okay. <laughs> I'll take a selfie next to it next time. <laughs> so, so why are we still interested in this story? Because, and by the way, this, you know, I didn't even understand how growing up around here, you think, you know, I, I've sort of, no, there's so much in here that I didn't. Like, why do you think we're still so interested? Well, I think people should be interested in this story because they don't know this story. Uh, I, I think the story people know, if they know even this much, is that, uh, the most famous actor in America at that time. Uh, who is our most famous actor right now? Who's number one on IMDb these days? Well, let's just say Sandra Bullock's brother shot the president. Okay. Um, it, it, it's like a disgruntled actor uh, did it. But no, he was part of a huge conspiracy. They went after the vice president, the secretary of state on that same night those orders were coming from somewhere. There was a plan, and the plan was to uh, uh, take down the, the government, um, and uh, and really and to reinstate slavery. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's of course so many obvious parallels to what we see every day in the news, that which you know is incredible, is maddening. Um, as I, you know, watching this, it, it, you can't help but thinking uh, post insurrection, the split country, knowing that uh, Johnson, I didn't know this, Johnson wanted to pardon the insurrectionists as well. I, how much of that plays through your minds when when you all are doing this production? Uh, well, I think I, I think as an artist, you always want to be part of the conversation that's happening contemporaneously around you uh but i think what's most vital is telling a compelling story uh, and 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 this is like a, a propulsive manhunt uh to uh save the country it, it, it's wild how perilous that moment was and uh we should all take care of our country. We should always be listening, always be watching and looking for the signs. So, uh, yeah, the, it, it, it's an exciting story to be a part of. Yeah. Um, and as far as, you know, some of your main scene partners, uh, Tobias, Lily Taylor, what did you get out of them? I mean, uh, it's the obvious, easy question here. What was it like playing against them in, in, with these characters? Well, Lily Taylor and I had worked together uh, maybe 15 years ago. Uh, and so that's so lovely uh, to to have a friend and to have that history and not have to uh, make believe. And then uh, Tobias is just such a dear guy and wildly talented actor. Just a privilege to be on a set with him. Yeah. Well, I'll also say this uh, as a heck of a soundtrack. And I only bring that up because I was looking at um, Downtown Owl, which, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, which it was, so what's the, the, that premiered last year, but that it hasn't seen, has that seen the wide release yet? Have it, I just... It's going to come out uh, end of April, uh, a <laughs> little over a month. Yeah. Because yeah. I just noticed T-Bone Burnett, Elvis Costello, Margot Price, Charlie Crockett shared. You're hitting on my greatest hits here. <laughs> <laughs> of a soundtrack yeah yeah and 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 I, i'm asking you this so on the other side like you're co-directing co this with uh with lily and um what's um what has that experience been like because how big of a shift has that been for you career-wise uh i'm really lucky that my partner and i both like taking our home work uh, our home work with us our work home with us. <laughs> um uh it, it it was you know it's the sort of thing that you say oh i'm going to co-direct with something with my partner and they're like i have a great lawyer for you uh it'll be a soft landing but uh in fact 
it, it, it was uh, it, it was a total a totally wonderful experience uh yeah. and we can't wait to do it again I can't wait to see that. Just knowing, uh, of course, it's a Chuck Klosterman uh, story. So that's on top of that. Yeah. Uh, it sounds really interesting. And I do love everything you do. Going back to Groove, of course, Midnight Mass, I was such a big fan of. But seeing you in this, it's seeing an original take on Abraham Lincoln. I just don't expect that these days. And I completely felt that in the performance and, and, and really everyone's performance in this series. It's so well done. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. Really yeah. appreciate it. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for taking the time. Likewise. Thank you. And thanks to my guest. Also, thanks to you for uh, for checking out the episode in the series. Before you get out of here, hit that subscribe button. Again, uh, you get three brand new interviews every single week. New and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at uh, right here on YouTube or, of course, anywhere in podcast land, including iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podchaser, NPR, or WFPK.org as well. A great way to keep up with your favorite artists and discover new ones as well. Then after that, actually head over to WFPK.org. That's where I do a show, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. It's an hour full of song premieres, music news, anniversary spins, bonus interviews, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern at WFPK.org. Consequence has your music and film news. You can also find me on the social media spots, uh, Facebook, Instagram, mostly on Twitter. All three of them, the address is at Kyle Meredith. Do hope you like and follow along. That does it for another edition. I'm Kyle Meredith. I'll see you next time.